Hi friends, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a video that I just feel like I constantly upload. It's like the only thing that gets uploaded to my channel anymore. It's this and pan updates because I have been so inconsistent and just not good mentally. So filming and editing and everything else has just felt like such an impossible task. I'm hoping that I can push through the mental stuff and get back to posting more consistently and posting different stuff. I just feel like I'm very stuck in a rut and there are things I want to film and like projects I want to take on but it just haven't haven't been great mentally. So yeah, today I'm doing another empties. I just feel like I collect it really quickly. I don't know why that is. And I don't know, just want to tell you about some stuff that I used up recently, stuff I liked, stuff I didn't like. I don't really feel like separating it out into categories today, so we're just gonna grab and go. First up, Paul Mitchell Platinum Blonde Shampoo, the big one. I liked this. I would consider buying this again. It didn't like damage or dry up my hair like a lot of purple shampoos tend to do, and it didn't like dye my scalp purple either big thing. Uh, yeah, I liked it and I would definitely uh, buy it again, especially when Ulta puts these on sale. Goodbye. I've got two of these, both of them giant and both of them the original scent of the Batiste Dry Shampoo. I have gone back to the like smaller size of these because I think these are actually more powdery and don't like mesh with my hair quite as well. And I've just noticed that with both, with all scents of these like giant sized ones, like it's a, not a better deal. Well, it is a better deal. It's a better deal for your money and like you don't have to buy Batiste as often, but I actually think the formula is just different enough that I don't prefer these and I've just gone back to buying the smaller, the smaller cans, but Batiste is still my all-time favorite dry shampoo. Some body scrub. This is the Tree Hut Coco Colada scent. I really like the Tree Hut body scrubs. I will continue to buy these. I actually meant to buy one when I was at Target the other day. I totally forgot. This just smells like summer. Oh my god, it smells like summer. Oh my god, it's so lovely. I love the scent. Uh, I'll probably get a different scent next time, but very, very nice and would highly, highly recommend. Body wash. This is the Bath and Body Works Dahlia scent. This is, this was new for like holiday 2020, I believe, and I love this scent. I think it's really, really nice. I usually don't love, ooh, I got shit on my jeans. The only issue with filming these videos is that shit gets everywhere. Um, I really like this. I don't usually like floral scents, but this was so nice. And I would actually repurchase this scent, which doesn't normally happen unless it's the snowflakes and cashmere scent. I usually just buy new ones every time, but this was very, very nice. Candles! So this is Saltwater Breeze, and this is Crisp Green Apple. I liked the apple scent, but it was not my favorite and I probably wouldn't seek this out again. This, however, oh, oh my god. It smells like summer. It smells like my birthday because I, no, it smells like right around my birthday because I was burning this and actually I think I, yes, I was burning this on my birthday. It smells like it, ah, that just, I love scent memories. Oh my gosh. It smells like June in my birthday and just I love this scent I just think it was really nice and usually I don't like seek out salt water or, like ocean scents but this changing my tune what is this linen violet leaves white water blossom I like this a lot would buy that again more like kind of random stuff this is the native plastic free deodorant and coconut and vanilla. I would and I have repurchased native deodorants. I would not buy the plastic free version. I, I get the idea that it's better for the environment. Yes. It's just not done well. Like you have to like push it up and like it's not retractable but even though it kind of is and it kind of just feels like a toilet paper tube. This was just really annoying to deal with and I did unfortunately go back to the plastic version because I just don't like the way that works if they work on the design and you know come back and improve it I would definitely buy the plastic free version again but just at this point no we have the matrix exquisite oil conditioner 
I've had this for a while. I've just been trying to use up all the conditioners and shampoos in my shower and I had to use this up. I didn't like it. I'm not going to ever buy it again. Oh my gosh, my last shaving cream. I don't like using shaving cream. I have to force myself to use this when I had it. This is the Skin to Mint Skin Therapy Lotionized with Vitamin E for Sensitive Skin Shaving Cream. No, I will never buy shaving cream again. It's just a waste of money. I would rather use conditioner or literally anything else. I just I don't like it. I find it very drying. No, thank you. Couple face cleansers. We have the Murad Acne Control. I would definitely buy this again. I do really like it. I think it just does a very good job of keeping my acne under control. I used to think I didn't need a salicylic acid cleanser, but I have noticed a difference since I stopped using this. One I don't miss and will not be repurchasing is the Youth to the People Kale and Green Teen Kale and Green Tea Cleanser. I just didn't think this was anything special and it's kind of pricey for a cleanser that really doesn't do much, so I'm good. This is the wrapping from a bath bomb from Aroma Reveal. I think it's like a smaller business. This bath bomb was reddish orange. It looked like I got murdered. Like it looked like I was bathing in the blood of my enemies. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Like you know when you like send like a relaxing in the bath photo to like be cute and girly like I sent it and <laughs> the guy I'm like talking to or, or was talking to mm, whole other thing uh was just like what is what is happening in that bathtub and I was like I I know I know like I had like my candle and my glass of wine and I was like trying to be cute in my book and like uh, uh this just like stole the show in like not a good way it was it was it was kind of terrible it was a little scary actually so like no no I'm good um, we have like some packets. So this is the Bubble and Chill Charcoal Bubbling Sheet Mask by Victoria's Secret Pink. This didn't bubble. It didn't do anything. This is the Sea Minerals Rejuvenating Sheet Mask from Victoria's Secret Pink. Didn't do anything. I don't like sheet masks. Um, this surprised me. These are the Skin Iceland Hydro Cool Firming Eye Gels. These surprised me because they didn't do anything. And I was so disappointed. I had such high hopes. I was like, this is going to change the game. I'm going to be like an eye gel person. And like, I don't like sheet masks, but I'm going to like these. No. Nope. Didn't like them. Didn't do literally anything. They're kind of expensive. So like, mm. let's just get all these packets out. This is the Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil Strengthen and Re Restore Treatment Mask. It didn't do much. I'm fine. The Unwind, haha, by Hask. Uh, Sauvignon Blanc inspired shine and nourish deep conditioner. It's a cute idea, but it's it's cheesy and doesn't do much. Antibacterial. So this is the big one from Bath and Body Works. It's warm vanilla sugar. I would definitely repurchase this. I loved this. I had it in a cup. I had it in a cup holder in my car. Easy access. Just great. And then this is the ho ho ho. Tis the season. Little mini. There are any backs. I will continue to be buying them because you know. COVID's not going away. Mm. Wallflowers. One of these is apple scented and one of them is tree scented? Apples. I can't remember for the life of me what these were. I like these in my bathroom because I do live in a basement so it is helpful to just, you know, keep it fresh, constant, good smelling things always a plus. This is the Bumble and Bumble Surf Spray. I actually really like this and after using other salt sprays and in my journey in doing so would actually repurchase this because I like it a lot. Speaking of this is the Way Wave Spray. This is my pan. I used it up. Made my hair sticky and heavy and didn't like it. Would rather have the Bumble and Bumble. Manuka Honey Cleansing Balm. Really hard to get off. Like stuck to everything. Didn't love that would not repurchase. Full size, or full size, travel size, Taka Cleopatra, did not like this, least favorite of these travel size that I had. Mm -mm. Smelled like old lady to me. Used it up, but smelled like old lady. Samples. We have the Sol de Janeiro, they're like perfume. I actually put a travel size of this after, after using this up. The guy I was seeing like made like a huge deal about this one so I kind of was like oh okay well like okay 
all right um yeah i do actually really like it it just smells really nice i get people are like just buy the body spray but like i just bought the travel it was fun. it's good i like it a lot it smells like coconuts this one was fine this is the skylar salt air it was fine it didn't really do much for me and i found it very forgettable <gasps> replica beach walk i also have a travel size of this because this smells like expensive sunscreen love it oh my god it smells like the beach in like a really nice way in like a luxurious way yes what is this rebecca minkoff this is like her like it's called rebecca minkoff the perfume Eh. very forgettable scent didn't didn't really care about it and then ooh. Valentino Voce Viva. I bought this in full size. I have gotten so many compliments. The same boy who liked the Sol de Janeiro, compliments. People at work, compliments. My mother, compliments. This smells beautiful. It's the Lady Gaga one. So nice. It is so nice. This is a Beekman 1902 Old Fashioned Hand Cut Shampoo Bar in Fig Leaf. I hated this. I like really hated this. This felt like a bar of soap. Like it didn't feel like shampoo. No, 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 no. I used it up for some weird reason. Awful, 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 awful. Did not like it. This surprised the shit out of me. This is the Eva NYC Tone It Down Blonde Leave-In Foam. I don't think they make this anymore. I thought this would like dye my hair purple. No, it was really nice. Like very conditioning, but also like I could tell a difference in my hair and like the color. I liked this a lot. I don't think I can get it anymore, but if I could, I, I would consider repurchasing because it was nice. The only like somewhat makeup related product, this is the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. It was fine. Setting spray is setting spray I'm finding. The more I use them, the more I'm like, do you do anything? Like I'm like dedicated. I use it every time, but like, nah, nah, nah. do you have a point? Do you have a purpose? I don't, I don't know. I wouldn't probably buy this one again. Last up, we have some moisturizers. This is the Answer from Black Volume Gold Radiance Cream. It says intense hydration. This had like glitter in it and it didn't do anything hydration wise. Don't think you could even like, I don't think a full size was an option. I think I got this from like a random advent calendar. Just no, just like, I don't even understand the purpose. Then we have the Charlotte Tilbury Charlotte's Magic Cream. This was fine. I think this was overhyped. Uh, I think I had way higher expectations for this. And it was just it was forgettable. Like I honestly totally forgot I had this. This is the Elemis Pro Collagen Marine Cream. I did not know how expensive this was. And then when I looked it up, I cut it open and used up every little bit. Because this is like a $40 sample. Because it's like a very pricey cream. I don't understand why. It's just okay. It's just okay. I'm currently using the Tula one and I've actually been like, oh, yes, I understand this. No, no, I don't need it. I didn't, it didn't make any kind of an impact. So, eh, eh, says it's anti-aging, which is something I need. I feel like I turned 25 and woke up with wrinkles like immediately, but didn't, I don't, don't get it. Don't get it. My camera's about to die, so I'm going to wrap this up quickly, but quickly, here's the total value of all of the products I used up. Yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. Comment down below what you want to see, because I want to film other things for once. Wow. But yes, comment, like, subscribe, all the normal stuff, and I'll see you guys again super soon. Bye.